hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer in adobe photoshop so before any further i do let's get started all right so okay so the first thing now then ctrl plus n to create a new layer or you go to file then you select new then i'm going to use a4 uh, i mean a5 paper size in this tutorial so you go to print then select a5 and over here you change it to inches leave your resolution at 300 and i'm using rogb because it's for social media post then click on great but if you are going to design for printing make sure that you change it to cmyk color then click ok so over here now then i'm going to create a gradient overlay color then go to your color over here then you select gradient overlay and you open it then i'm going to copy the color i'm going to make use from here then the first one is black okay so now what i will do now is to select black color from here then i'll click ok then come over here then also make use of the black and the location here i'm going to make it 45 percent so it's going to be around here then the next one i'm going to copy this code here ctrl plus c to copy then come over here and then select then ctrl plus v to paste and then go to your opacity and then i'm not going to make the opacity 100 percent why because you see so when i make it 100 percent so this is how it's going to come out now i'm going to make it 43 percent so it's going to be like this then I'll click OK to apply it. So the next one now then is water color brush. So I'm going to create a new layer over here. Then you select your brush. Then go to your brush menu. And um, I'm going to look for the water color brush. So this is the water color brush. And the one I'm going to use now. I will look for it. So I'm using um, Kelly's Real Watercolor Big Rough. So I will select this one. Now increase the size of your brush using this open bracket here. Then I'm going to change this color. Then I'm going to select the color from here. Ctrl plus C to copy, then come over here to change the color, Ctrl plus V to paste, and over here I'm going to apply the color. You can increase your opacity if you want, then something like this, but I'm using 11%, it's okay. So something like this, then... okay then the second one is here and i'm going back again to make a copy of this column ctrl plus c to copy then change the color over here now i'm going to apply this one over here so something like this all right so having greeted it like this then I will drop my two and I will going to blur it. Then go to your filter, then select blur, Gaussian blur. Then over here, I'm going to make it somewhere around 30 something. 34. 
33.2 is okay then you can make it 30 so anyone but this one is okay like this all right so having created it like this so the next thing now then i'm going to change the blending mode to multiply then it will give you something like this all right so then i'm going to import a texture so this is the texture i'm going to use then scale it out to fill it then go to your filter select your blur then select gaussian blur then i'm going to make it 12 then point five then you click ok something like this so the next one then go to your blending mode and you select i'm going to make use of this linear bond then it will give you something like this so having done this one now so the next one is to import our worship image so this then now we reduce the size then you take it up over here it's okay like this so the next one now then leave the blending mode at normal and reduce the opacity to 19 percent so apply your layer mask and select your brush then go back and select soft brush on that general then you will see soft brush over here okay so then you can now clean up this area so the flow you can see 11 percent so i will i'm going to increase it to 100 percent so that the effect we apply here okay so the next one now then i'm going to import this lion over here then you drag it to photoshop reduce the size then i will position it somewhere around here okay then go to your blending mode and i'm going to use this pin light apply your layer mask then select your brush again and you blend it So you will have something like this so having done with this one now so i'm going to reduce the opacity to 43 percent it's okay like this so then we move forward so now before we complete the other one so what we are going to do now then we are going to bring in our tests now Then I'm going to copy the name of the church. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then import the church logo. Reduce the size. Then you take it up over here. Then I'm going to zoom in. Then select your test tool. Then change the color to white. Then over here, I'm going to change the fonts. And I will be using the font Cinzel. Then make it Cinzel regular. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size of the test, then you bring it closer over here. Okay. 
then I'm going to apply a drop shadow so then over here I'm going to make use of this multiply then the opacity I'm going to reduce the opacity to 85 percent then leave the angle at 90 then the distance 6 the spread 7 and the size then make it 7 something like this it's okay then I'll click okay all right so I've been done this one and then I'm going to duplicate this one control plus J then you bring it to the center now come over here to make a copy then go back and then uh, select your test tool highlight it then control plus V to paste go and increase the character spacing something like this is okay then now Ctrl plus A to select all, apply vertical alignment to align it by center, then Ctrl plus D to deselect the line over them. So you will have something like this. So the next thing now, then I'm going to make a copy of this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then remove the character spacing by 0% and increase the font size. Then make it bold. Then I will copy the color code from here then change the font color then make a copy of this control plus c to copy then select your test to reduce the font size Then I'm going to change the font of this one to violation. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now position it somewhere around here and increase the font size. Then come over to your test document to make a copy of this Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then change the font to white font color. Then change the font to Cizel. Then make it bold. Ctrl plus V to paste. Position it over here. And increase the size. Something like this. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J or you drag it over here. Then come over to your test and make a copy of this one. Then select your test tool, highlight it, and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the size of this one.
Okay, so I need to arrange it properly. I will bring this one down. Then adjust the the size of this one. Then something like this. All right. Then now I'm going to apply a drop shadow on this one. So what I will do now, then I'm going to hold my Alt key, then drag the effect to this one. Then you drag it like this. Something like this. So having done this one, so what I will do now, then I'm going to select these ones. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then click here to group it. Now you can adjust it, increase the size or reduce the size. Then I'm going to alight it on Ctrl plus A to select all. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to reduce I mean to deselect it, then I will reduce the font size this way. All right. Then the next thing now, I'm going to bring this light flare over here. Then reduce the size. Then I will position this one around here, reduce the size once more. Then select screen, something like this. Now I'm going to apply layer mask, select brush, then I will brush the edges here to remove those lines there. Okay. Now duplicate it, Ctrl plus J, or you drag it over here and duplicate it. Then I will position this one around here. Then select your layer mask once again, select your brush, and I will clean up these places. Okay, then this is what you will have. All right, so having done this one now, so we move to the next one. Then I'm going to create a leaf tool now. So go back to your background and I'm going to select this leaf tool. Then you draw a cycle. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. So, make it big and drag it down over here. Now, so hold your control and press A, that is control plus A to select vertical alignment so that you align it vertically. So, having done this one now, so the next thing I will do now, then I'm going to duplicate this one, control plus J, or you drag it here. So, and over here, I'm going to turn this one off for now. Then come to this one, and I'm going to apply a gradient color on this. So, now go to your blending option. Now I'm going to select a gradient too. So, this is the color I'm going to use. And as you can see here, then the angle is. 1, 4, 2, why the scale is 1, 1, 2, the, and the color code is here, so this is the color code, you can see, so I have it here, alright, then click OK to apply it, so the next one now, then, which is the one I turn off, then I'm going to turn it on now, and then, change the color 
and over here is the color I'm going to use so now if this is white and over here is another one so what I will do now then I'm going to duplicate this one again the the upper one I'm going to duplicate it Control plus J to duplicate why I will turn this one off then make use of this one now I'm going to reduce the size of this one like this something like this and i will copy this color code from here ctrl plus c to copy then double click to open it then ctrl plus v to paste no not for this one so this one is white color so i'm going to make a duplicate of this one then why i bring this one over here then ctrl plus v to paste so this is the color so now we are going back to this one now then turn it on so having turned it on now then we are going to bring this one i will bring it down so it's going to be something like this then and the color we are going to use is this one ctrl plus c to copy then double click ctrl plus v to paste so something like this now what we are going to do now then we are going to create something like this So hold your shift key while you select it then we are going to use our arrow key then to drag it up so that there will be space for it then the first one you drag it up then this one it's okay like that then this one, I will bring this one down like this and this white one then I'm going to increase it this way hold your shift key while you are doing this and the other one Hold your shift key while you drag it up like this. Then use your arrow key then to bring this one down. Then select these two. Hold your shift key while you select them. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. Then hold your shift key while you expand it. Also hold your alt key. then this one hold your shift key while you bring it down like this then something like this all right so having greeted this one now so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to import the image so this image i'm going to import it 
then take it up increase the size then I'll position it over here go to image then select brightness then increase it then take it to somewhere like 43 then the also the constructs then you increase it something like this then go back again to the adjustments and then click on this vibrance then increase it also increase this one something like this is okay increase the size now apply your layer mask select your gradient to make sure that this place is black and white and over here is black then hold your shift key then to blend it something like this all right so having done this one so the next one now then i'm going to import this image so already i have this image over here so i'm going to bring this one then i will drag it over here then bring it back then increase the size something like this reduce the size something like this is okay then select the layer mask select your gradient tool and blend here something like this okay now i'm going to convert it to smart object also this one i will convert it to smart object now select this one we are going to apply to pass lab now then i'm going to to pass labs then select details so over here now so what i'm going to make use of it now i'm going to make use of interior strong so i'm going to use that and here i'm going to increase this one to something like this then also the small boost increase it to around 20 20 to 22 so think like this then why the medium details then also increase it to somewhere 70 72 or 73 then this one also then increase it i think 33 to 34 is okay and the and this one then i think We are going to make use of within this 17 to 18 is okay then and this one then we are going to reduce it between this area I think this is okay so now this is okay then i'm going to apply it so you can see the infect so having done this one now then i'm going to apply this imaginomy portrait shot 3 then i'll click ok
then come back to this one and I'm going back to the two past labs then select details then we are going to make use of the one we use then look for the interior strong this one then increase it something like this something like this then this one it's okay like this then you will have something like this now I will go back to this place then and apply for treasure 3 then click OK so as you can see this we smoothing the image a little all right so the next one now we are going to do now is to bring their name so over here I'm going to make a copy of this one Control plus C to copy then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste and the font I'm going to make use of this font over here then reduce the size then make a duplicate of it Ctrl plus J to duplicate then you drag this one down Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test to highlight it. And I will change the font color to white. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then this one I'm going to break it down. Then adjust the space. Something like this. And reduce the font size or oh, it's okay like this now I'm going to select this one hold your shift key while you select then and you drag it over here or ctrl plus J to duplicate it I will move this one over here Then come over here, then I'm going to make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test to highlight this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to select this over here. Then also on this test, highlight it and I will click on this one then to make a change to that test there then also on this test here and this one apply it so you can see the changes over there now select the test and I'm going to copy this one then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now increase the size of this one. And this one reduce the size. Uh, 
having done this one and then the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to to make a copy of this the team control plus c to copy then select your test tool control plus v to paste this will go here then i'm going to select this layer design here then use your arrow key then to move it up it's okay then i will take this one up reduce the size then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then position this one around the end then now we delete this one off and remain this one then come over here and now we copy this one select your test tool then change the font to white ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size So then the next thing now I'm going to duplicate this one over here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I'll bring it over here. Select your test tool. Highlight it. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then duplicate this one. Then highlight it. Come over to your test. Copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then something like this. Then I will change the font to black. This one also change the font from bold to black. Now, I will bring this one down to this position. So, this is it. Then, I'm going to select the tests here. Then use your arrow key then to take it up over here. And the team, use your arrow key then to bring it over here. And now I'm going to select them. Hold your sheet while you select them. Control plus G to group. Then Control plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Control plus D to deselect. Okay, so now I'm going to apply a drop shadow on this 
1 over here. So select your drop shadow. Then the opacity, I'm going to leave the blending modes at normal. I mean, multiply. Then the opacity, I will increase it to 100%. Then the angle is 90. Then the distance, 6. And the size, I'm going to change it to 5. And the, I mean, the spread, 5. And the size, I'm going to make use of 10. Then you click OK. Something like this. So having done this one now, so the next one we are going to do then is the location. So over here, then I'm going to I'm going to copy the location before we come back to dates. Then select your rent angle to then you draw a rent angle over here. Leave the color white, then come back to this place, to this place, and uh, you drag this one. Then position it over there. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Select it all and change the font to black. Then reduce the font size. Now I'm going to open the space. Okay. So now this is what we have over there. So the next thing we are going to do now then is to create the time and date. So now we are going to drag this one up over here. Then use your arrow key then to also move this one up. And this one should go up. Alright, so having arranged it like this now, so what we are going to do now, then we are going to create a cycle. Something like this. Then you position it over there. Then I'm going to turn the fill color off. Then apply the stroke color. Increase the size by 4%. It's okay. Like this, it's okay. Then also come to your rent angle and select it. And draw a rent angle like this. So, having done this one, so the next thing I'm going to do, then just apply it and just the way we do this one, then you apply it the same thing by removing the fill color and apply stroke color. Then bring this one to this position. Then leave it here. Then now, what I'm going to do now, this one I'm going to apply a corner shape. It's okay like this. Alright. So, the next thing now, then select this one or the cycle you select it hold your hold hold your shift key i mean your control key but before then i'm going to duplicate this one duplicate it so now hold your control key while you select it then go to select select on this click on this modify then you expand so 
by 6% or 5%. So anyone then is okay like this. So the next thing now, then I'm going to select this um, rent angle now. Then you, you can turn this one off if you want. So you, you can turn it off, but you can see the line there. Now, select this one, go to your eraser tool, then select it. And I'm going to cut this one off. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect, then turn this one on. So what I will do now, take this one from this place, then down to this position. Okay, so something like this. Now click OK. So what I will do now, then I'm going to make use of this one. Then click on this one by holding your Ctrl key. Then go to select, click on this modify, then expand by 6%. Now select this one, select your razor tool, then click OK and erase it. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now you can turn this one off. Then use your arrow key to bring this one close. So so this is what we have over here. So now I'm going to delete this one. It's of no use now. Then come over to your test and make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And make it bold. Then you position it somewhere here. Then make a copy of this one. You can duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then drag this test. Let the test be above it. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to increase the size of this one. Like this. Then come over here, then I'll make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you bring it down. Select your test tool, highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Then I'm going to select it all while holding your Shift key. And I'm going to increase the size. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. It's okay like this. All right, so now the last one now then is this. So I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, come over here, then Ctrl plus V to paste. And this one, I'm going to change the font to Morganite. Then over here, I'm going to make use of semi bold. Then increase the size. Then select your test tool. Highlight this one. 
then I'm going to reduce it by 20% or less than 20%. Okay, then 20% is okay. Sorry for, for that. Select it. So reduce it by 20% over here. Then we type PM. All right. Then I notice that the character spacing is open on this one. So I'm going to remove the character spacing to 0%. All right. So I will increase the size. All right, so this is it. So the last thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to apply all these effects. Then this one, I will position it somewhere there, then change it to screen. Then somewhere around here. Now I'm going to apply layer mask, then select brush, then I will increase the size of the brush and clean this area and clean it. Okay. Then the other one, then I'm going to also import this one. Then position this one around the ear. Go, then go to your blending mode and change it to screen. Then you will have something like this. The last one, then is this one. Reduce seats. It's okay. Then I'll position it somewhere here. Also change it to screen. And I'm going to apply blur, select your Gaussian blur, and I'm going to make use of something like 4.5. So it's okay. So this is what we have over here. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you are not subscribed, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video. And if you want to order any flyer, please, you can go to my Fiverr account. The link is in the descriptions and make any order of your flyer designs. Then if you want to create a Fiverr account, so the link is there. You can also create a Fiverr account through the link provided in the descriptions all right and don't forget to join the membership channel the link is under the description thank you so much subscribe like and share